In this video, I'm going to be talking about one of the most viral topic discussions at the end of Season 4, and that is what happened to Vecna at the end of Season 4, and what will he be doing in Season 5? What will his goal be in Season 5, the final season of Stranger Things? Before I get into it, be sure to drop a like. Let's go for 200 likes on this video. Be sure to subscribe as well. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. Join my Discord where we talk Stranger Things every single day, and check out my website, Relay.News, where I have a free newsletter and I release exclusive content every single week on that newsletter. Now, without further ado, let's get right into this video. So the first thing I wanted to discuss is what happened to Vecna at the end of season four. Whenever he got pushed out of the window, whenever Nancy, Robert, and Steve had that epic scene with the Running Up That Hill remix and shooting him and throwing Molotovs at him, what happened to him when he fell out, out of the roof onto the ground and Nancy, Steve, and Robin went down there to look for him and he was just gone. For some reason, this topic never really intrigued me because I thought it was pretty obvious of what happened to Vecna. First of all, he literally has superhuman powers, so we don't know what he could possibly do. Second of all, he's literally been in charge of this alternate dimension for like 10 years, so everything in this upside down, in this alternate dimension, Vecna controls. So it's not that hard to believe that he just escaped because either he can make himself teleport somehow, or he could control the vines to like drag him away, or he just got up and run, ran, ran away because he's a superhuman, pretty much invincible, has this like tough skin, so him getting shot doesn't really do that much to him. Like it's not that hard to believe that he just got up and ran away because he's Vecna and he's a literal superhuman turned to alternate dimension demon controlling dimension person you know what i'm saying to me after rewatching that scene like five times the idea that vecna couldn't have gotten up and just ran away because he literally runs the upside down he owns and controls everything about it and has been in charge of that upside down for over a decade the idea that people didn't believe that he could get up and run was kind of just blasphemy to me because of how powerful he actually is and what power he holds in that specific alternate dimension of course he can just get up and run because it's Vecna at the end of the day. It's literally the controller of the Upside Down. So now let's move on and talk about what he will look like in season five and what he will be like in season five. I think he will absolutely look different in season five, a different design in season five. He probably has an injured body, so he's going to be doing stuff to his body to make him more indestructible, invincible, immortal, all of that stuff. I think we will see a new design for Vecna in season five, potentially more closer to the D&D &D design that is Vecna in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, we could potentially see Vecna be more like the D&D &D design of Vecna. And he will absolutely, 1000%, be a stronger version of himself in season five than he was in season four. 100% he will be stronger than what he was because the time jump from season four to season five is going to be like a year and a half where the kids are not gonna have any connection with Vecna and Vecna is going to be building his army, building himself back up and making himself stronger in the upside down stronger. He will absolutely be, he will absolutely be more indestructible and more stronger in season five speaking of him being more indestructible and more powerful i think his army is going to be insanity i think we're going to see all different types of alternate dimension de uh, monsters like not just demogorgons not just people like vecna we're going to see like all different types of monsters from the DD game be a part of vecna's army and potentially all the people that he's killed be a part of his army as well. I think we could potentially see that as well. But regardless, he will be much stronger, look much different, and have an actual army surrounding him, like a massive army. Another thing that I think could happen revolving Vecna's storyline in Season 5 is through the flashbacks, I think it could be revealed that he's actually being controlled by the Mind Flayer, and Dustin was right when he was saying that Vecna is the Mind Flayer's five-star general. Vecna is not actually in control. Henry Creel is not actually in control of this Upside Down. In fact, he's just being manipulated by the Mind Flayer who originally gave him his powers, which was revealed in the first Shadow play that took place in December of 2023. I'm going to make a whole separate video on how Vecna is not the biggest villain in Stranger Things, but I do think that particular storyline could be revealed through flashbacks in Season 5. Now let's talk about what Vecna's goal is going to be in Season 5 and what he could potentially do in Season 5. What's going to happen with him? Well, at a very base level, as far as the storyline prediction goes, Vecna is going to simply just be trying to get revenge on Eleven for what Eleven did to him in season one or, you know, before season one and season four. He's going to try and simply get revenge on Eleven. That's going to be like the very basis, the very 
basic description of the storyline in season five. Vecna is going to get revenge on Eleven, or going to want to get revenge on Eleven. And how he's going to do that, he already started. I mean, think about it. He literally ruined Hawkins, Indiana. There's already been leaks of like posters in the school that said there's going to be classes teaching kids about nuclear war, nuclear attacks. Like, I think they're going to blame everything Vecna did on nuclear nuclear attacks. So Vecna has already started on his revenge with Eleven by attacking her friends, by attacking her town, by attacking her people. He's already started his entire plan. And the way that she's going to get at Eleven is by attacking everyone around Eleven. Not specifically attacking Eleven, in my opinion. I think that's how he's going to do it. Because we remember what Vecna showed Nancy in Season 4. He put her in a trance and basically showed her exactly what he already did, which was take down Hawkins and make it split in half. And he also showed her her whole entire family dying, including Mike Wheeler. And obviously Mike Wheeler is... Eleven's boyfriend. So I feel like a rough way of how Vecna is going to go about it to destroy Eleven is to destroy everything around her before he tries to get to her to make it like the most suffering death possible. And ultimately that's probably what's going to make Vecna fail because he's going to try to be ignorant and egotistical and take everything around Eleven out first before he's taking out Eleven, and Eleven's the most powerful part about everything. So he'll probably eventually waste too much time on trying to destroy Eleven's loved ones rather than destroying Eleven, therefore fail and his entire plan goes to crap. Not only do I think Vecna is going to fail, but I also think Vecna is going to die in season five. I think it's pretty obvious, you know, him being like the main villain or like the main villain. We don't know exactly. We all, we all have our theories, but him being the main villain as of right now, He's most likely going to die and fail, right? Unless they wanted to do like a whole entire horrible ending and everyone dies, you know, all that stuff. But yeah, I think Vecna is going to die. So how do I think Vecna is going to die? Well, I already made this theory once, but I think Max Mayfield could potentially go into Vecna's mind and convince him that, or show him that he's being manipulated. Maybe Max can see through Vecna's childhood and see what happened to him and through the flashbacks, Max could convince Vecna that he's being manipulated by the Mind Flayer, that it's not actually him doing all these things, and he's some, she somehow convinces him to sacrifice his life for Eleven, so the same thing that happened to him doesn't happen to Eleven. And that's not only how Max could play a huge role in Season 5, but that's also how Vecna's storyline could end in the perfect way. Some of you might say that's too predictable, but in my opinion, that would be awesome. What do you think is going to happen in Season 5 to Vecna? What do you think Vecna is going to look like? How powerful do you think he's going to be? And do you think he's going to ultimately die and be revealed as the biggest villain or not the biggest villain at the end of the day? I would love to see your comments about this. Let me know what you think about my theories. And I appreciate you guys watching. Like I said, check out my newsletter on Relay.News. Link in description. Check out my Discord and all my other socials are down there as well. I appreciate you guys watching. And make sure to have a great rest of your day. Peace out.